So we just Good morning guys, it's Monday. <gasps> I wake up to find this boy sitting on the lounge playing with clay. What wet clay? Stand up so we can have a look at you, Kyle. I'm a monster. Look at your clothes. Um, I hope I can get that out of your jammies. Yeah, just wash it. You reckon? Yeah, because this, this stuff that's wet, that's soft. Can you do that with some more cleaning up? Um, are you supposed to have it that soft? Yeah, ba. And that wet? Yeah, ba. Are you sure? Yeah, ba. I don't think cling wrap is meant to sit on wet clay. And I don't think another piece of cling wrap is going to help. I think it's too wet. Okay. You're going to have to massage it somehow to get some of the wetness out. But now I have lounge covers to wash. Yep. And pajamas to wash. Yep. Good morning, Monday. Ma happy Monday, Mummy. Yep. What happy are you going to make? I killed your couch. What are you going to make? I'm making a piggy bank. A piggy bank. Let me get your chair so you're not sitting on the ground. Please don't touch me with that. Please don't touch me with that. <gasps> no, no. It's Monday. How many more days to... Our big brother gets home. Five days! Yeah. Oh, that chair's wet. That's fine with me. Yeah, you can have a wet bum. Your clothes are dirty enough. Where's the toilet key? Uh, um, Dad has it. Dad took the toilet key to work again. Uh, so I got your one. Yep, you got my spare one. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure that clay is meant to be that wet. And I'm not sure that clay is meant to get off your fingers. Well, I don't think it's meant to be that wet, Danny. Well, I don't think this clay is going to get off my fingers. I think you wet it too much. I think I didn't. I think you're going to have to massage it off your fingers somehow. How fun. I can wet it off. No. Have fun. I don't know how you're going to get it off. You might have clay fingers forever and ever. <laughs> no. Have you had breakfast? No. Oh, how are you going to eat breakfast with those? <laughs> no, no, no. Um, it's really expensive clay, and you're doing that to it. Yeah, you should mash out it off. Oh, I did too, didn't I? You're a goose. <laughs> I know. Kyle has a huge mess to clean up. This morning he was sitting out here playing with his plasticine. It's like a bit like Play-Doh, but a little bit harder between clay and plasticine and Play-Doh. And he made a mess. The chair is covered in it. The stool's covered in it. The bucket's covered in it. The grass is permanently stained. And this wood. I've asked him to get rid of this wood and he's collecting it for something or other. So he's got a lot of cleaning up to do fun and games. But I want to show you our storage solutions that we got from Ikea. I'm really happy with them. Um, we haven't put one lot up yet. David's going to put them up when he gets home. He's got to put a railing up for me. And he needed a drill for the railing to go up. But yeah, I got them from Ikea when we went to Ikea. That's the bathroom ones. I wanted to get the bathroom freed up around the sink. They were just sitting on the sink. So I got three containers and then I got the rod for it to go on and I got the wallpaper. It's only like contact, it's just basic contact. I got it for Bunnings for like a couple of dollars, I can't remember how much. Um, but here is our wall, excuse the karate clothes, I've got to wash the taekwondo clothes. I got a spice rack and I'm using it as a bookshelf. I saw it off the Knife Knowles videos, um, I thought oh what a great idea. I love the video, she did a nursery tour and I saw the spice rack from there. Then I got the two tubs, and then I got all these hooks, and they become our hat rack, and the belts are hanging up, and then I got this for my jewellery. It's just like a little round hook. I don't know if you can see it. 
I'll move the necklaces and it just sticks on the wall so that's for my necklace but yeah I'm super wrapped in that Cameron hasn't sorted his stuff out yet that's his bookshelf see this box here huge box of everything of his that he has to sort out far too much junk I washed the sheets today I washed both boys sheets I'm about to take them offline in a minute but yeah I want a, another rack like that one there the silver one the rod I want that to go up so these can go up on them so yeah I'm really really happy with the storage solutions from Ikea it worked really well I've been wanting something for ages in the bus in the motorhome because we don't have anywhere to put books so they were just sitting on the engine cover we didn't have anywhere to hang anything so they're just taking up space around and it was just annoying me I was just at it I just wanted it sorted so I drove into Ikea and got it all um, a little tip though I didn't know that you needed nails and hooks and screws and everything for them I just bought them and came home and then David goes oh and then my, that means I have to go to Bunnings to get all the screws for it so he had to go to Bunnings yesterday and put it all up but yeah it's Monday and so our oldest son comes home on Saturday I cannot believe how quick it's going he comes home on Saturday I order a big massive surprise for him online today and I'm hoping fingers crossed that it arrives in time it'll be so good to see his face when he sees the surprise I'm excited and I'm hoping he gets excited so that's a good thing but I just gotta chase this child up again because he's just taken off I just saw him out of the corner of my eye running away from the motorhome to join his friends and I want my chair cleaned up outside but check this out Cameron started this last night all by himself it's something to do with Minecraft no idea when he talks Minecraft it's like he talked another language to me like I'll listen and I'll acknowledge that I'm listening and I still have no idea what he means but Minecraft is just a totally out of my head language it just takes me in I'm like uh-huh okay yeah I understand all right no I have no idea what he's saying <laughs> I have no idea of what he means or what he's talking about but I don't want him to know that so I just go yeah okay that sounds great wonderful so yeah that's all about minecraft when he gets back maybe he'll explain it to you and then you can see if you can understand it hi all good morning good morning kyle good morning kyle what have you done to my rolling pin you're not putting that on video what did you do did you have fun what was it called what was this called? Plasticine? Plasticine, yes. Plasticine? And you're not putting that on into that or whatever. Oh, really? I'll see if I can show you what it looks like. Oh, I don't know where Cameron did with his lot. Hmm. Cameron had some. I don't know what he did with it. But it looks like um, face paint on the plate. Actually, plaster. The I plate. Got that stuff and I got it. Thanks. The plate looks like. Oh my gosh, are those scissors ever going to be the same again? Yeah. You reckon? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. They look like they're going to be covered in yeah. it forever. Yeah. And look at the plate. How did you make so much mess? I just made so much mess. You destroyed it. Did you make anything out of it? Yeah, I'm making a pig out of it. Where's your pig? Um, what it, I'm letting it dry overnight outside somewhere. Where is it? I hit it. Where no one. Oh, okay. No idea, no I'm eating one of these again. A smooth. They're so yummy. They're 100% natural ingredients, dairy free, gluten free, no cholesterol, no trans fat, no preservatives and it has coconut and mango in it it is so so yummy they're just from Woolies and you just freeze them and yeah on a hot beautiful summer day like it is today you eat them how's that plate going? Oh, this is what it's called air drying clay no firing necessary white and it's supposed to be a big block of it where's yours? outside <gasps> uh oh no stop you need to join the bench
Thanks guys for watching another episode of New Life on the Road. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and comment underneath. We love to hear from you guys. I'm sure we have the messiest kid in the whole of Australia. He just creates mess wherever he goes. What about these hot cakes? Don't they look delicious? Sorry I didn't think to film them the other day. They're hot cakes with maple syrup, ice cream and strawberries. David made them for brekkie. They were super delicious. What do you guys like to eat for brekkie?